Hey everybody, it's Jake Diak with Pixis Lab, and today I wanted to break down the ST772DO dissolved oxygen series. So these are luminescent dissolved oxygen sensors. Um, I have the ST772P here, so this is the CPVC plastic version. It's a lightweight sensor with a long cable, and then it also has an anti-scratch DO membrane cap that's simple twist on, twist off. In the 772 series, we have several sensors. This being the first that I'll break down is the ST772P, the CPVC variant of the sensor. We have the ST772 itself, which is stainless steel. And then we have the ST772T and the TP that are, they're both inline T installation uh, compatible sensors. Uh, one made of stainless steel and then another made of CPVC. And then finally, a part of the 772 series is the ST773, a smaller, more cost-effective sensor that doesn't have automatic amperometric sensing uh, technology. So you would just plug in on UPixis uh, the, the amperometric pressure of your atmosphere depending on your application. So today I just wanted to demonstrate a little something utilizing UPixis. Whether it's the 773, 772, you want to use an MA series Bluetooth adapter to connect to UPixis for mobile monitoring, configuration, calibration. Um, this one works with the MACR, so for that purpose I'm showing it off. On UPixis you would connect to the MACR, then connect to your ST772 or 3. Um, and from there, you can monitor, configure, and calibrate. Uh, you can see that I have it in tap water right now, and when it's in tap water, it's gonna be reading right around where we suspect it to, which is eight PPM. I've also taken the, uh, taken the liberty to prepare a small beaker of water that has tap water as well, but it has sulfite to try to eradicate some of the dissolved oxygen. You can see on Upixis, when I place the 772 into the sulfite water, uh, that residual dissolved oxygen goes down and measures around three and a half instead of what we're used to at like 8 ppm for tap water. Um, so just to show you guys the sensor itself, it's really simple, really lightweight. Even the stainless steel models are pretty lightweight. It's submersible, so you would just install by submersing the sensor or you would install in T for the T versions. Um, the 773 is also submersible and inline T compatible. So. Uh, there's the sensor, guys. Just wanted to break down the ST772 series for you. Um, I hope you all have a great week. See ya.